Hi everyone, welcome to Dentison. Today we are going to talk about eight changes in oral mucosa. What is oral mucosa? It is the moist lining of our mouth. As I just said, it is moist. But do you think it remains moist with age? No, there are some changes which are happening in this lining. And those changes which can be seen clinically inside the mouth of the person are called clinical changes. And those which are observed microscopically are called histological changes. Now, histologically, mucosa is made up of epithelium and connective tissue. And changes can be seen within both these tissues and those are called histological changes so we can say that eight changes in oral mucosa can be described in two headings one is clinical changes and second is histological changes and that is an important theory exam question for you and also the topic for today's video so let's start before starting quickly subscribe to dentozen and also give a like to this video as i keep making such videos for you so let's first see the clinical changes so it is not going to be moist anymore so what will it become it will become smooth and dry but why because saliva Saliva normally keeps it moist but with aging saliva production decreases and also there is thinning of epithelium because of which mucosa becomes smooth and dry first important change that is in the mucosa if you look at the mucosa of old person it becomes smooth and dry but why there is decreased saliva and reduced salivary flow that is because the salivary glands which normally produce saliva now they undergo atrophy with age and they are replaced by fibrous tissue so that is another important thing that is there is reduced saliva production and secretion so now let's see what are the changes on the tongue now tongue also becomes smooth but why because there is thinning of epithelium and also important change which is seen on the tongue the papillae filiform papillae they reduce with aging that can be an important point and can be asked in viva what happens to papillae with aging so they reduce then another important finding which can be seen on tongue is on the ventral surface of the tongue sometimes in edentulous patients when doing some work in your prostodontics you ask the patient to raise the tongue you can see something like this on the ventral surface of tongue but what is this this is a normal age change this is these are called varicose veins that is enlarged veins which are seen on the ventral surface and called lingual varices so this type of appearance which when seen on the tongue is referred to as kvr tongue so that can be an important viva question for you so what are these dilatations which are seen on the ventral surface of the tongue so these are the varicose veins and they are called lingual varices now another thing which can happen on the ginger we already discussed in age changes in periodontium that the stippled appearance that is orange peel appearance of gingiva is lost that is this small depressions and elevations which are present on the attached gingiva they are lost with aging now another thing which can be seen is on the commissures of the mouth labial commissures which are the corners of the mouth so what happened here there is formation of creases here with aging you might have seen in old person but why this happens normally when our teeth are there so these teeth are in occlusion contacting each other and they maintain this vertical dimension but when our teeth are lost and there is loss of surrounding bone what will happen this vertical dimension will reduce and because of which there will be folding at the corners and there is formation of creases so that is another important finding that is creasing in the labial commissures that is corners of the mouth with aging so those are the clinical changes which can be seen clinically in the mucosa with aging now there are certain other those changes which can be there which are going on within the mucosa which patient can sometimes tell you for example there is decreased cell mediated immunity because now fewer Langerhans cells are there Langerhans cells are the normal antigen presenting cells which are present in oral mucosa which capture antigens so when the these cells are not there will there will be decrease in immunity and there will be more chances of infection and also there is decreased repair and healing capacity of mucosa with age also there is loss of sensitivity to thermal chemical and mechanical stimuli why because there are changes which are going in nerves and organs so because of which there is loss of sensitivity so another important thing which can happen is loss of or alter taste perception very very important point with aging there can be changes in the taste perception why because taste birds which help in taste perception now they decrease with aging and this loss of taste is seen in women at age of 40 to 50 years they are ahead of men in whom the this these changes are seen at 50 to 60 years of age so initially there is loss of salty and sweet taste 
followed by loss of bitter and sour tastes also these these taste changes may be because of the nutritional deficiencies which happen with aging or because of the certain medications which a person is taking so those are the other changes they are going inside the mucosa changes now let's talk about the histological changes now epithelium and connective tissue so let's first talk about the epithelium so inside the epithelium the number and thickness of rete ridges reduce epithelial ridges rete ridges are the projections of the epithelium in connective tissue so their number and their thickness reduces mitotic activity that is cell proliferation rate of the cell also decreases degree of keratinization that is amount of keratin formation is also reduced and turnover time is prolonged that means time taken by cell to go from basal layer to top layer that is cell is moving slowly now so everything slows down what about the connective tissue in the connective tissue there are changes in the collagen fiber bundles they thicken and elastic fibers they also decrease collagen turnover time is also prolonged and fibroblast cells cells which form fibers they appear smaller and their activity is also diminished so those are the histological changes within epithelium and connective tissue so let's summarize the age changes in oral mucosa so you can start writing your answer first by describing what is aging the meaning of aging it is a continuous detrimental innate phenomena it occurs in constant and steady way and it is time related process starts from birth and goes till death so what are the different theories of aging three different theories are given first theory says that it is because of the free radicals there is damage to the cells second theory there is damage to dna because the repair mechanism becomes faulty and third theory says because of the loss of telomeres which are present on the ends of the chromosomes so those are the three theories of aging now you can write about the two types of changes which are seen in oral mucosa clinical changes and histological changes so clinically it becomes smooth and dry there is reduced saliva production secretion smooth tongue reduced filiform papillae varicose veins which can be seen on the ventral surface of the tongue loss of stippling is there and other things other changes which are going on creasing at the corners of the mouth decreased immunity decreased repair capacity loss of sensitivity and taste changes now let's talk about the histological changes within epithelium there is reduction in rete ridges reduction in mitosis decreased keratin formation and turnover time increases what about connective tissue all the fiber bundles they thicken elastic fibers decrease collagen turnover time increases and the cells fibroblast cells they become smaller and their activity diminishes so those are the two changes clinical changes and histological changes and that is how you can write your answer for the age changes in oral mucosa now let's check what have you learned first the clinical changes what do you think mucosa becomes smooth or rough with age whether it is dry or moist with age what happens to the veins on the ventral surface so what are varicose veins where are they seen what happens to stippling what happens to filiform papillae on tongue and what happens to taste perception then the histological changes what are the epithelial changes and what are the connective tissue changes so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching keep learning keep smiling and good luck for your exams see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye